Well, here we are, everybody. We're uh, we're on our way over to fish with Greg Thomas and Tony Grant. We've got Carrie behind the camera and Ryan sitting in the back seat back here. We're all ready and excited about going and trying to catch some big fish on some of the musky mayhem tackle pr products. So stay tuned. We're going to see what happens. Hopefully, we're going to get on some big ones. I know they've been going. Greg's been doing really good. And uh, fortunately, we're going to have Tony Grant in the boat with us, too. So pretty excited about tonight. You know, the one thing that we were doing out here this weekend was, you know, we weren't really burning them because we were fishing during low light periods, you know, just after dark, just before dawn, and basically just slow rolling them. And these big blades, just even at a slow speed, create a big vacuum underneath the water. Um, but you can also fish in different ways, like, up, you know, on some lakes, you're burning them more. So you've done that. I've seen the burning them work. You know, yesterday, we were just tipping the weed tops, bringing the fish in. The thing about those fish, you know, Minnesota fish there are a lot different anywhere else. Most people say at the conception, include myself, that this bait's too big for Kentucky or Illinois. And we found, you know, traveling the way we do, we found these baits pretty much can put fish in a boat anywhere. Fish, 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 fish. Light, 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 light. Light. Okay, okay, I got it. There we go, there we go. Good job, Carrie. Good job. Is it going? Is it pulling? All right. I got the net for you. We're just out here basically just drifting a big uh, wheat flat. It's going to be our last drift before we move and uh, just working these cowgirls down the weeds. Every once in a while you just tick them and the one thing nice about the big blades is they hit the weeds and kick it off there pretty good. And Carrie, you reeling it pretty slow? Uh, yeah. Carrie was reeling it pretty slow, the old pink lady, and uh, got a nice fish. I don't know how big it is, but it's a, it's a pretty nice one, I'll tell you that. All right, let's see what we got. Big old fish, measure right around 50 inches. Actually right on 50 in the nose. Big fish, double cowgirl, pink, pink. Let's get her back, cause she's heavy. Oh. All right, hopefully this is a start. Good, awesome. I'm out too. You got him? Look at the other light, Brian. the whole freaking bait. She's so oh, cool. Good job, dude. Hey, sir. We'll go take her to the board. Got her? Yep. 52 and a half. Oh, it's 
side did, huh, Tony? Right at the boat. <laughs> well, congratulations, Tony. It was a super nice 52 inch fish. Um, he got it on a black nickel uh, double cowgirl. And one of the things that a lot of people ask me about all the time, and we get emails all the time, is you know, the wires get bent on these baits on a big fish like that. But I'll tell you what, you can straighten them right back out real quickly. Just grab a hold of the body of that shaft and just start tweaking it back. And a lot of times it'll even give it more vibration than the bait already has as a brand new bait. Something just to uh, keep these baits back out in the water, get them back in the water quickly, just keep bending on them wires until you get them good and straight, and they're ready to go again. Ready I've for battle them, too. I've seen them bent in the horseshoe shape and they'll yep. still come back together. Here you go. See that? Oh, sorry, Brad. Pretty good fish. tops early morning the sun's just starting to come up I'm getting a little bit of action just ticking the weed tops with the old cowgirl she's been up we'll straighten her back up though she'll be good as new hey man well, let's see that again. all right where are you girl you guys ready you got the net brad yep I'm good. okay Big old headed thing. Look at that one. Unbelievable. Just throw them all out, girl. 50 inches. Get it up there? Yep. Yeah, 50 and a quarter. That was a heavy one. Look how fat that baby is. Look nice fish. Old pink double cowgirl. Early AM. Thanks. Let's get her back. Let's get her back. I'll get the net out of the way here, Brad. Keep screwing it over. It's up to you, or I can get you by your ankles. She's thick. Yeah, that's a nice fish. That's definitely the heaviest one we've got. The thing is, too, you gotta realize this is July. What's this girl gonna look like in November? December. She's gonna go any second. There she goes. Thank you, girl. That's oh, great. Good deal, man. Appreciate it. Third one. Third one on the old pink. Super the thing nice. is, it's a huge, uh, huge fish, but you know the bait's fine. Bait's intact. Just got to be rebent back, and uh, shoot, let's get another one. I think we better hand that one off to Ryan. Yeah, he's, he's been like the beatin'est boy here. <laughs> Better give him thank that. Thank you. Down the road. Well, I just uh, want to thank my good friends, Tony Grant, Ryan Lahman, and uh, Greg Thomas, and Carrie as well with the camera. We, uh, we just finished the second morning, I guess. Um, we started out last night, right around 7, 8 o'clock. Went into the night, did a little bit of fishing into the dark. A couple hours, we ended up managing to... Uh, get a 
50 inch fish carry caught and uh, I ended up with a couple hours later with a 42 inch fish and uh, so what we decided to do is head in and try to come out first light we got out here about an hour before the sunrise and we're just kind of button that up right now and I'll let that Greg kind of explain what happened this morning uh, basically we just came back out and wanted to hit the water just before the Sun came up and uh, well, got lucky, got two more real big fish, but what that was happening was the sun was just coming, but it hadn't peaked over the horizon yet. And, uh, it was still pretty much shade on, and the fish were, you know, just laying right up in the weed tops. But still, the whole key, I think, is the whole uh, blades ticking the weeds, working the bait slow, getting it in there, and pulling the fish out. Um, the fish seemed to be buried in the weeds a little bit more, and not wanting to come out after a faster moving bait. Uh, the whole deal was getting the bait in there, ticking the weeds, pulling those fish off.